Alright everyone, welcome back again to some more Trails of Cold Steel. We're finally nearing the end of the game with a couple more things to do and pretty much we'll see everything how we'll see everything else too is what I'm trying to say. And like I said before in the past videos, I'm honestly curious to see how this will all end because I feel like we're not going to be encountering any particular set of enemies. We're all in the school right now and we're just preparing for the festival. So I guess we'll see when we see, right? And if anything else, thank you all for the love and support. Hope you all continue to enjoy and let's get right back into it. Alright guys, welcome back. We're finally going to get a head start on the next set of uh, quests, which is the Rayo Trista one. So here we go. Sorry to keep you waiting, Michael. Oh, there you are. I'm just glad you could make it at all. Our special's tonight, but some people still haven't submitted what they want us to say during it. I mean, we could go ahead without them, but it'd feel kind of unfair if we did. <laughs> I imagine it probably just slipped their minds considering how much everyone has to do right now. But you are taking the time to give everyone's events courage. Coverage. Courage. <laughs> so I'm sorry that they put you through this. Ah, I'll sweat it. The festival gives us some good material every year. You won't see me complain that the students are making it better. The Academy's been getting lots of coverage ever since what happened last month too. Ah, sorry. We don't have the time to shoot the breeze about that. So, you got time to get this done? Yep. You bet. You'll be broadcasting tonight, so let's get this done as quickly as possible. You are the man! I'm still waiting on replies from Class 1, Class 5, and the Occult Research Society. I don't know where the people in charge of them are, but you probably will since you're all from the same academy. Go get those comments. Leave it to me. Class 1 should still be rehearsing for their operetta, so I'm sure that's where I'll find everyone. Class 5's Mishi's pan pan Panic? Being set up in the gymnasium, which leaves the Occult Research Society. I guess I'll head to their club. Right then, let's get going. Mishi's Panic. I thought it was Mishi's Picnic. It's kind of weird. Alright, so first things first, we'll head over to the uh, Occult Club, which is in the Student Union, I believe. The sooner we get this done, the sooner we can continue onwards, and I'll be happy about that if anything. But it's been a while since I've been to the cult. Imperial, it should be this one over here. Yep. Hello, do you need something from me? That I do. I'm collecting comments about each of the festival's events for a radio broadcast focusing on them. I had no idea the Occult Research Society was actually doing something for the festival though. I certainly am. <laughs> Or are you curious? Can I just have a simple answer, please? Very well, I suppose I can tell you. I'll be turning this room into a fortune-telling house during the festival. How accurate will the fortunes I tell be? <laughs> That's for you to find out for yourself. I guess I should take that as your comment. Thanks. Oh, and as for that man from the radio station who sent you, I see a great deal of hardship in his future. <laughs> Well, gee, I'd hate to get in the way of your preparation, so I'd better get going now. I didn't even tell her about I didn't even tell her about Michael, so wow, she's really talented at what she does, huh? Alright, gymnasium should be next. Oh wow, it, this changed completely. Come on, work! I command you to work! Mishi, why have you forsaken us? Uh, is everything okay over here? Hey, watch out! This is Class 7's Joker here, to get dirt on us. What, you think there's some sort of show? Get out of here before I make you get out of here! Wait, did he just... <laughs> Alright, whatever. Simmer down, boys. Sorry about that. Truth is, the machine we're using isn't really working like it should, so we're all a little on edge. We sent someone out to get George, though, so our, tech our technical woes should be over before too long. What's your story? Do you have a reason for coming? Or are you actually spying on us? It's the former, I assure you. I hate to ask when you're so busy, but it's about the festival feature on the radio tonight. Class 5 still has to provide the station with a comment, so I was hoping that someone could say something. Oh, Adios, hey, it's Monk. How could that radio freak have forgotten that? Yeah, you're gonna have to ask him. What the hell, man? He seemed so excited when he told us he'd take care of it. What could he even be doing right now? So, instead of one of you coming up with a comment on the fly, I need to find Monk? 
Any idea where he might be at the moment? I don't think any of us have seen him since yesterday, actually. Whatever he's doing right now better be br better be pretty important if he thinks he can just ditch us at a time like this. You sure he's not just sleeping in? Anyway, none of us got time to come up with some fancy video comment. We gotta go straight to Monk for that. Got it. I'll go look for him at the lower class dorm. Hopefully I can actually find him to the dorm. Alright, so we gotta head over to... Front entrance again. Thank God for this uh, fast travel, man, because... That'd be a lot of back and forth that is very unnecessary. Alright, lower class. Oh wait, is the lower class in this area? <laughs> Alright, let's see, lower class dorm. Front entrance, library... Nope, it wouldn't be here. It was definitely here then. Alright, we'll find it right here. Ah! Boom. Alright, where's this guy high up? If I talk to her, there's no reason to head past here. Alright, so it should be only her then. I can't see Monk anywhere on the first floor. Let's ask someone where he is. Excuse me, do you have a second? Reen asked the girl if she had seen Monk lately. Hmm, not today I don't think. Do you need him for something? Yeah, I need his comment for tonight's radio show. I guess I'll head to his room and just hope he's there. There's no need for that. Sorry for the wait, Reen. I've just finished writing up our comment for the radio show. J just now? That's right. This comment is the fruit of two days of back-breaking non-stop labor. And when I say non-stop, I mean without so much as a wink of sleep. <laughs> the bags under his eyes are pretty intense, even for him. He's such a radio geek. Misty won't be on the show, but a submission's a submission. Only the very best is good enough. I can tell that you're curious, so let me read it to you. <laughs> Mishi, the international sensation, finally makes his Thor's Military Academy debut. But oh no, trouble's afoot. Mishi and Machette are being attacked by evil Mishi, and the only way to save them is to smack smash and mash away. So come along to Class 5's Mishi Panic, and save Mishi and Machette from their terrible fate. Mishi Panic, the only place where smacking something so cute can be so refreshing. And that's that. Make sure they don't leave out a single word. I'll be listening. Uh, sure. That's, uh... That's interesting. Alright, now we can report back to... Are you kidding me right now? It's not here? I gotta go there? Alright, well it's not that far obviously, but still. Saved me a lot of trouble. I'm still waiting on the replies from class 1, class 5 in the occult research. I don't know where the people in charge of them are, but you probably will, will since you're all from the same academy. Wait, am I missing someone? Oh, right, I'm missing the last one. Okay, almost forgot. Oh, one more should do. And if I remember, auditorium, right? That's funny, I thought I got them all. Ah, uh, where is she hiding? There she is. Excuse me, could I have a moment? What are you doing here? This is Class 1's practice area. Did you see a sign that said Class 7 interlopers welcome? Or perhaps, please interrupt us? No? Then move along. I'm only here to ask about Class 1's comment for the radio special on the Academy Festival tonight. You still haven't submitted one. Uh, oh, right. Did no one submit a comment for our class? I, I certainly haven't. 
Likewise, we've been so focused on practicing that it slipped our minds. <laughs> Listen well then. Class 1 will be performing an operata set in the Middle Ages known as the Coronation of Garuda. It is the dramatic tale of Garuda, a most noble lady favored by the Emperor himself as she struggles against her own destiny. The leading roles will be played to perfection by Patrick Higharms and myself, Ferris Florea. Florald. Florade. <laughs> Our operetta won't be captive won't just be captivating, but also educational. We even consulted an expert to ensure our script's accuracy. I implore those of you listening not to miss out on our fabulous performance, especially in order to watch other, lesser events performed by other, lesser classes the very same day. We will not be topped. I think that should do for now. Th thanks She really is competitive. Well, that's the last of the comments I needed. I should go and give these to Michael. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, now we can finally head over to Michael. That's so funny, I thought I had them all. Is it, do we really not have the radio here? No, okay. I guess because it's just such a short travel, but still, like every other area is marked for fast travel. Yo, how'd it go? Perfectly. I've got all three comments right here. Reem relayed the comments to Michael. Hmm, good stuff. They're good. Generally short comments, so I'm pretty sure they'll get some great reactions from our guests. Oh, this is going to be a fantastic show. Before you run off, take some of these. I'm really glad you helped me out here. That's a lot of bombs. Awesome, thanks. Good luck with tonight's show. Right back at ya. Let's do what we gotta do and make this one hell of a festival. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Alright, next one over should be the infirmary one. I guess we gotta head back to front gate. And I believe the infirmary is in the main building. It's been a while since I've been there because I hardly ever need to go there in the first place. Which one of... Can I go through? Infirmary. Reen Schwarzer. It seems as though you've been working very hard on your field studies and even harder when you help the student council. I can hardly imagine how many people you've helped tackle their problems, all the while showing compassion and honor. As an instructor here at Thor's, you could not have made me pr prouder. That's very kind of you, but I'm not sure I've done anything someone else in my shoes wouldn't have. To be honest, I'd say the people I've helped have let me develop as a person, so it's anything but a chore. The more you talk, the more right I know I am. I hereby present you with the Medal of Compassion. Heh, <laughs> Miss Hersha won this last year, so you know you're in good company. But this is far from a formal award ceremony, I do hope you'll accept it. Even so, this is quite an honor. Of course I'll accept. Thank you very much. Having the ability and will to help others is a precious thing. I hope that you continue to do so as you grow older. Hello, Schwarzer. You wouldn't happen to be in here with your response to my request, would you? That's right. Today I'm here on behalf of the student council. The request said you needed someone to give students permission slips, correct? Yes, these slips prove that a student is upholding the necessary health and hygiene standards to sell food on campus. And all students planning to sell food, whether at a stall or at an attraction, must have one to do so. To some gourmets, these slips are the most important part of the festival. And yet, a few of our students still haven't collected theirs. I'm starting to get a little worried. Aha! So that's why you need someone to deliver them. Hit the nail on the head. I'll do it myself. I'd do it myself, but people tend to be accident prone this time of year, so I need to be here in the infirmary. Sorry to push this on you while I'm sure you're already swamped, but such are the dangers of helping the student council. Perfectly fine by me. I'm happy to help. What a guy. In that case, let me tell you where to deliver everything. First on the list is Nicholas from the cooking club. They'll be holding cooking classes during the festival. I assume he's so focused on all the preparations that he's forgotten to come get the one thing that will let him cook. Probably a good guess. Next up we have Class 4's Eastern Tea House. As the name implies, they will be dealing in tea, sweets, and relaxation. I do believe it was Colette's job to pick up their slip, not as yours to get to her. She's a sweet girl, if a bit on the clumsy side. They probably just left their mind. That sounds like something she'd do. At least she probably won't lose it if we bring it straight to her. 
Lastly, we have the two food stalls belonging to Becky and Hugo. You'd think they'd be the first to get their slips. I've heard the two are trying to outsell one another. If they don't have their slips, they'll tie at zero units each. They're probably too busy arguing to even think about stopping by. Maybe getting their slips will calm them down. So, to recap, Nicholas from the Cooking Club, Colette from Class 4, and Becky and Hugo. You've got it. Here are the permission slips. Remember, the fate of the festival's food is riding on these. They're very important. Be sure to handle them as such. On top of that, each slip has the name of the person you need to deliver it to written on it. Don't get them mixed up. Understood. I'll be extremely careful. I never expected so much would be riding on this job. I need to make sure everything's perfect. Oh, calm down. It's a simple request. If it is, even if it is important. Let me know how it went once you're done. Will do. Gosh. The amount of nonsense, right? Okay, excuse me. Alright, first... Oh, since I'm already here... I can give it to Colette. Bridget. Oh, this might be Colette. There you go. Hey Colette, have you got a minute? I've got something for you. Ooh, I've always got time for a gift. Here we are. Huh? Oh! Oh yeah! I completely forgot! That was a close one. Can't exactly have a tea house without tea. <laughs> Whoops! So you had to come all the way over here to deliver it, Reen. Hey, no worries. But do me a favor, try not to get me tasked with any last second deliveries in the day off. We'll see about that. Thanks a lot. What, what do you mean we'll see about that? <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. Second floor. Cooking, right? Oh, million. I don't see Nicholas anywhere. Hey, Milliam, quick question. Do you know where Nicholas is? Nicholas? Hmm, he said he was heading out to get some ingredients and stuff. So I guess he's probably at the journal store in town. Right, thanks. I'll probably regret this, but what are you making? My own super special cookies. Nicholas asked me to make a whole bunch of different types. These ones have got hot chili peppers in them. Wanna try one? Uh, no thanks. I couldn't deny someone else the privilege. For what it's worth, it seems like she fits right in with the cooking club. Not to head into town and find Nicholas. Alright, time to head out. Front entrance. And head, on, and head on over to the general store, right? Uh, I should have it here. General goods. There you are. Excuse me, Nicholas. I'm here to deliver your permission slip at the Academy Festival. Oh, sorry to make you come all this way just for that. Certain issues with the people I ordered the ingredients from have been keeping me busy. I've been trying to get in contact with other sellers and plan out menu changes all at once. It's been messy. I was dead set on picking up the permission slip today, though. <laughs> and instructor Beatrix was thinking just that. Anyway, here you go. Thanks a lot. I'm surprised she realized how busy I'd be though. It's kind of nice to have such an attentive instructor. I suppose she picked that up situational I suppose she picked up that situational awareness from her time in the military though. Oh, I wasn't aware of this. Yep, she used to be a medical officer. Apparently she was even famous enough to get some widely recognized nickname. Huh. Now I'm curious to hear more. That's all I know really. Thanks for delivering the permission slip though. I'll head back to the club and stick it somewhere where it'll stand out. Please do. Alright, last and not least, Becky and Hugo. And they're right in front of the main building, if anything, so... Makes my life a lot more simpler. Here we go. Here, Hugo. This is my spot, so bolt. Terribly sorry, Becky, but it's my spot now. I applied for it first. And by extension, that means I get priority. Aye, but I brought all my stuff here first. Ugh, the application papers were vague as to what they meant by in front of the main building. But this is the exact spot I had in mind when I applied. I'm terribly sorry, Becky, but you'll have to concede. No chance, mate. 
I had my eyes on this spot way before you. The permissions of Julia are the last thing on neither of their minds. Eh, uh, sorry to interrupt, but I have something for each of you. Here, mate, we're a wee bit busy here. The future of our sales ride on who gets this star right here, so would you mind making this quick? Don't worry, I will. I completely forgot about that. You and me both, perhaps we let our kerfuffle carry us away. Say, Becky, I have an idea. There's a low point to competition that's won based on slot position alone. Why do you say neither of us takes this spot and we set up our stalls on either side of the front gate? So we'll be right across for each other. Ah, that sounds good. Let's go with that then. Sorry to say though, we man, but I'll be winning this one either way. <laughs> oh, Becky, the fact that you're naive enough to think that's possible is one of the reasons you're so charming. I will believe it. You'll have a brass neck too when I show you it's true. I should probably get out of here before they get started again. As for the last two slips, the barely instructed Beatrix to know that I've delivered everything. And thank goodness we're right there too. Up here we go again. Excuse me. They delivered all the permission slips. Good work. How's everyone? Pretty much exactly the way you described. That made things go a lot smoother, actually. I'm glad to see that there's still some use for this old woman's wisdom. Now that you're here, why not have some tea? Have a seat. I'll prepare something special to thank you for your help. <laughs> well, might be rude to turn her down now. I'd love some. Thanks. This is delicious. It's my special blend. It takes the fatigue right out of you. You've actually learned a lot about the herbs in there in my class. Is that so? This tea and insurance are so different that I can't even compare the two. I almost forgot how fun it is to have tea with someone so young. So tell me, how are things going in class 7? You're all so busy these days. That we are, but our concert is really coming together now. We're doing the final fittings for our costumes today and tomorrow will be a full day of rehearsal. We're definitely cutting it close, but we're all feeling motivated. There's no way this won't be a success. Oh my, such confidence. Just make sure you don't work so hard you end up having to pay me a visit. <laughs> we'll try not to. She really does care about all the students on campus. She even knew a lot but the ones who forgot their slips. Class 7 has accomplished a great deal over the past half year. It's always a pleasure to learn what you're up to. That said, it seems like you've also have a knack for getting yourselves into trouble. Ha! I'm certainly not opposed to Instructor Sarah's methods, but she could stand to be a bit more protective. You might be onto something, but that attitude has helped us out before. Which reminds me, you've known her for a while now, haven't you? I've heard that you used to be a medical officer in the army. Is that when your paths crossed? Hmm, something like that, yes. Well, I suppose you're all at the age where, you're expected you, where it's expected you come across trouble every now and then. But keep in mind that pushing yourselves beyond your breaking point to accomplish something you can't will only end badly. Just like it did for her all those years ago. Understood. Gracious me, I didn't mean to lecture you like this. Teacher's habit, I guess. And it appears our tea has gotten cold. Perhaps it's a sign that we have to bring this lovely conversation to an end. I suppose so. But it was nice to hear what you had to say, and I'll take it to heart. Glad to hear it. This is your first Academy Festival, so I hope you'll enjoy the whole thing, preparation included. I will. Thank you again. College gem as a reward. I got a medal and an college gem. All right, hold on a second. Did I already accomplish all three? Let's ah, I keep doing that. All right, set their minds, read their comments, we'll mix up. Duly noted. Yeah, I took care of all of them. Perfect. All right. Before anything else, I actually do want to check out the engineering. Hello, Reen Schwarzer speaking. Yo, it's me. Oh, hey, Crow. Is something wrong? It's not like you to call out of the blue. Well, we've run into a bit of a problem. Turns out our outfits for the concert will be arriving late. They said the earliest they can get them delivered is sometime tomorrow morning. That's not great. I mean, it'll be hard to do tonight's dress rehearsal without the actual dress. My thoughts exactly. But don't you worry, though. I'm just as crafty as I am handsome, so I've got a plan. Want to head out and pick them up for us in person? Uh, Crow... I think the two of us need to go over the definition of plan sometime. <sighs> you ordered them from a boutique in Heimdall, didn't you? 
Yeah, someone over there is putting the finishing touches on them right now. They'll be done by this evening, so our whole delivery problem's solved if you just head over there. I do it myself, but I've got some stuff I need to get done. Got it. I'll take care of it. I'll head to the station right now. Wouldn't want to miss the train on something this time sensitive. Whoa there, the train? Come on, man. Don't tell me you forgot about Jellica's parting gift. Oh. You're right. It'd probably be faster to get to Heimdall by bike than by train. Okay, bike it is. Besides, if I cut down on my travel time, I can put more work into the festival. <laughs> Even when I give you something cool to do, you find a way to make it dorky. Oh yeah, uh, you should take someone with you too. You're bringing 11 outfits back here, and that's not exactly going to be easy on your own. That's true. It'll be a lot easier with the sidecar too. Okay, leave it to me. Cheers. Okay, I guess I've got a little more wiggle room to help out around here. I'll head to the engineering club to ask George to lend me the bike once I'm done. It's so convenient, I was just gonna head there anyway. I mean, super safe. Alright, let's go. Engineering room. Hey Rain, I heard everything from Crow. I just finished up with the maintenance on the sidecar too, so you're welcome to use it whenever you'd like. Thanks, I'll do that. <laughs> Angie left it to you, so think of it as your bike now. <gasps> I get the bike for myself? You can take it out for a spin whenever you feel the need for speed. Thanks, George. So, yeah, sometimes you'll see an error show up here. R right, so, then what do I do? Hold on, can I upgrade any more than I need to, or are we good? Not it's the same one. Okay. Well, that's what it is. Let's go. Here's Angelica's bike. Head to Heimdall. Five seconds. Did I need to do anything? Nah, I didn't have to do anything else. Alright, we're good. Let's go. Okay, looks like everything's in working order. Hmm. Crow did say I should take someone else along to give me a hand. Not sure how busy everyone is though. Let's see. Who should I try asking first? Let's ask Laura. Alright. Might as well see if they're free. Hey, it's Reen. I've got a little favor to ask. What a wonderful breeze. The vibration of the engine reminds me of a lion's purr. It's very pleasant. <laughs> I was thinking of it as a steel horse, but lion sounds cooler. Anyway, are you sure you have the time to come out with me? The swimming club was supposed to be helping set up the gymnasium, right? <laughs> We've already finished, so there's no need to worry. Besides, I'm curious about just what sort of outfits you've designed for us. Really? I have to admit, I didn't expect to hear that from you. Well, my curiosity stems from the other girl's concerns. I'm hoping that I won't have to draw my sword today, but should these prove too revealing... That won't be necessary, I'm sure. Though, if it is, at least my last memory will be a happy one. Ah, yes, at the very least, right? <laughs> I hope that's true, for both of our sakes.
Sorry to make you kids come all this way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic! I can't wait to see them. Thank you very much for putting them together on such short notice. <laughs> this was no sweat compared to what Crow put me through last year. He had me working like a madman. Last year's concert was great, though, so you can bet that I'll be there to see if you kids can top that. Oh, by the way, are you the girl on drums? I can't imagine you'll have any trouble winning people over between the outfit and all the banging you'll be doing. Hmm. Reen, should I trust the sinking feeling in my stomach? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that when we get back. Bird. That's a rare kind of bird. What the? Is something wrong, Reen? This might not be the best place to get lost in thought. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was distracted by a strange bird sitting on that lamppost. Strange how? I've never seen a bird with feathers that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. Huh, that certainly is strange. A city this large is the last place you'd expect to find some exotic bird. I wonder what it was. Oh, what do we have here? The... I mean, Misty. Oh? It's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure. Mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? Why are you lugging two suitcases around? <laughs> hmm. You two getting a jump start on a romantic weekend getaway? Uh, of course not. We're merely here to take care of some business. L let me explain. Reen told Misty about the coming about coming to collect their outfits. Wow, a concert, huh? That sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although, I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Oh, don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Whoops, lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. That woman was the opera singer we met on our field study here, wasn't she? Why were you calling her Misty? Well, you see... Reen explained the Vita Misty situation. Oh, she hosts a radio program, does she? Given how captivating her voice is, I'm impressed that nobody has drawn the connection between her two identities. <laughs> it took me a while to notice, too. But one thing is strange. Tomorrow's Friday, right? They only broadcast Abend time on Sundays. Hmm. It's possible that she's making an appearance on another program. Maybe. Anyway, we should head back to Trista. I'm sure everyone's waiting for us. Agreed. We need to try on our outfits today as well. Yeah, I can't wait to see how everyone looks in them. Reen, I'm sure I don't need to remind you. But should your designs prove too indecent, blood will be shed. Th they're fine, honestly. Probably. Your bond with Laura strengthened. Looks like it's maxed out anyway.
Wow, these are actually really nice. Huh. They're a bit more revealing than I would have chosen, but at least the design itself is reasonably tasteful. Yep, not bad. And the black makes us look all classy, too. Oh, what am I even doing in this getup? your boobies look even bigger! Wow, you look... stunning. That's seriously hot. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have trusted the boys. I think it's perfect, and letting your hair down adds just the right amount of mystique. Nice work on the styling, Sharon. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. I think you all look beautiful. Wow, you all look even better than I was hoping. Well, well, you all look the part of dashing gentlemen yourselves. It seems like you took your inspiration from the traditional dress of the Imperial Court. You look like rejected princes from a children's book. But it kind of works. <laughs> I feel a little bad for you guys. Your uniforms don't have those little personal touches like ours do. Well, considering the time we had to work with, we had to settle for all us guys just wearing the same thing. Eh, no one's gonna care what the guys are wearing. It's better to bring out each girl's charms and let the boys just sort of fade into the background. I figured that'd be something Angelica would say, but it also works for Crow. That's called knowing your audience, boys and girls. <laughs> I see how it is. We're all different heights and have different hair colors, so I think we're better off with a standardized look. I'm no stranger to cuffs, epaulettes, and overdone embroidery. But it looks preposterous to see you wearing such finery, even if it is just a costume. Hey, I didn't ask for this! What sane man would want to dress like a noble? Besides, I hope you haven't forgotten that we'll be singing in these outfits, together! Sadly, despite my earnest attempts, I haven't. Alright, are you ready to practice the night away? We've only got a day and a half left, and that's if you include today. No time to waste. And that's why none of us are leaving this building until we can do a perfect run-through of our whole set. I don't think he's going to take no for an answer. You're like a drill sergeant when it comes to music. I hope you're not starting to take after Nightheart. Uh, we're not sleeping tonight, are we? <laughs> I'll be sure to bring you all a nourishing dinner later this evening. That's not the problem here. Well, I suppose there's not much more we can do than buckle down and give it our best shot. Fine. I suppose I'll just have to cast my shame to the wind and go through with it. Aww. It's not like I want to Emma? wear an outfit like this, but I might never get a chance again, so come on, Emma. Just grin and bear it. Oh no. I think we broke Emma. Maybe we ought to leave her be for a while. All right. Wow. Okay, so let me just say right now that their outfits were pretty good. I thought Crow was going to be a bit more less tasteful than I thought, but hey, he he made it work out. I guess it's because Beam was there too. I also, I thought that uh, it was chapter six where we had to do the motorcycle thing, but it turns out we did it here. I'm not sure if it's a separate motorcycle uh, event, but if that's the case, then great. We did it. Uh, if anything else, we're closing in on the festival starting soon, so... I'll end the video here for today, and if anything else, guys, we'll continue on in the next one. So thank you all for watching.